This is where I discovered the sound of silence. Our journey had a promising start, but soon became anything but smooth sailing. We were going to check on the first seals at the Knee Islands, but we had to sail through this. Due to the relentless waves, we couldn't stay too long with the seals. While they were mostly unbothered, we had to retreat. Despite the weather, we were still eager to get more intimate with the fjord, which was not a sound decision that I almost regret. While we did enjoy nature closer in person, the storm was coming back, and it's coming back fast. last one to get back without capsizing. Thankfully, the morning was much calmer. Doubtful Sound has a curious name. Back when Captain Cook first mapped this area, he wasn't sure if this inlet from the sea was navigable. Hence, he plotted the location as Doubtful Harbour. When later explorers came to chart more of the area, the name stuck. For the native Maoris, this place was called Patea, the place of silence. And we're about to discover how they came up with Patea. As we sailed into Hall Arm, stopped the boat, and killed the engines, we listened to the sound of silence. The choir of silence was an eye-opening experience for me. It made me realize how little silence I've had and how much I needed it. I hope you've been having a great week so far and that this moment of silence has helped you find some peace and serenity. And I'll see you in the next adventure. Bye-bye.